989. Welcome to a 989 on Health Extra. These quick supplements should help ease any withdrawal symptoms you may experience while waiting for our next full episode. So, Mike, what's on today's agenda? We've received another great topic request from a listener. The question is, do I really need to wash my fruits and vegetables before I eat them? All right, I'll come clean here. Uh, no pun intended. And admit that I myself do not wash my produce before I eat it. It's like I've been eating unwashed produce my entire life. I've never had a problem. But have I ever taken the time to research it? No. Well, it turns out that many of these fruits and veggies, especially those that are eaten raw, like bean sprouts, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, and strawberries, can easily transmit bacteria, like salmonella, listeria, and E. coli, along with a whole host of other nefarious critters, including tiny parasites that are usually carried by snails, which can lead to meningitis, that is, inflammation of the brain. Now, like most unsanitary manfolk, I had no idea there's a whole group of special products made and sold specifically for washing off your plants before you eat them. Who knew? According to the FDA, many of these store-bought produce washes can leave a residue, so simply using normal, clean tap water is a better bet. If you're like me, you might grudgingly agree to wash off your produce, giving it a quick two seconds rinse in the sink before eating. You're already trying to eat better. Do you really need to spend 10 minutes washing your carrot sticks before you eat them? Well, the, the duration varies depending on the plant in question. One bit of research I came across was a study from the Hawaii Journal of Medicine and Public Health, which tested slugs on lettuce plants. And remember a few moments ago, I was talking about slug contamination leading to meningitis. Meningitis is bad for your brain and can cause hearing loss, seizures, and blood clots, which can lead to multiple organ failure. Now that's a worst case scenario, but it is possible. So in the study with the slugs and the lettuce, the researchers used, well, they had fancy science terms in their paper, but basically they used a salt solution, a bleach solution, a vinegar solution, and plain water to see which was best. And drum roll please. Turns out that plain water was the best, and out of each of the solutions tested, only water was successful in removing 100% of all of the slugs. But I should make it clear that it was necessary to wash each individual lettuce leaf one at a time to achieve this result. I know, I know, if this is what eating plants is about, maybe I should just go back to living on granola bars, right? You don't have to spend 10 minutes washing off a granola bar. You just wolf that sucker down. But, you know, diabetes will kill you that way. As always, we'll have links in the show notes to some useful articles. One interesting tidbit I found from the FDA was this. Quote, Even if you do not plan to eat the skin, it is still important to wash produce first, so dirt and bacteria are not transferred from the surface when peeling or cutting produce. End quote. Or, you know, gnawing it like a caveman, as I do. And get a load of this, also from the FDA. Consuming dangerous foodborne bacteria will usually cause illness within one to three days. However, sickness can also occur within 20 minutes or up to six weeks later. Although most people will recover from a foodborne illness in a short period of time, some can develop chronic, severe, or even life-threatening health problems. Kind of crazy to think about the fact that something I ate six weeks ago could be making me sick today. How would I even remember what the problem food was? Oh yeah, a month and a half ago, I did eat that questionable piece of asparagus. Yeah, you know, it was a vegan party and everybody was doing it, man. It's crazy, I tell you. Six weeks. So, to sum up, wash your fruits and veggies. It could save your life. I will be washing my fruits and veggies from now on. I have to admit, it's not going to be fun. But I'm going to do it. Thanks again to our great listeners for sending in suggestions. If you'd like to send in your own topic for consideration, head on over to level989.com slash contact and make it so. That's all for now. You can find links to read more about today's topics at level989.com. Why not take a moment to rate or review us in iTunes or give us a mention on social media? We can't help everyone if they don't know we exist. Don't rely on us as an alternative to medical advice from a professional healthcare provider. For the full disclaimer, please see our website. Thanks for listening, and now, go health yourself. Yeah.